ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு ஏகேஇசி சேனல் டுடே வி வில் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்விட்சஸ் ஃபார் தமிழ் வெர்ஷன் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஆடியோ ப்ளீஸ் ரெஃபர் தி லிங்க் கிவன் இன் தி டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் ஸோ டுடே தி டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்விட்சஸ் ஃபார் வேரியஸ் டிஜிட்டல் டூ அனலாக் கன்வெர்டர்ஸ் ஸோ தட் இஸ் தி டாபிக் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் ஆல்ரெடி யூ ஆர் ஃபெமிலியர் தேட் தெர் ஆர் செவரல் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் டிஜிட்டல் டூ அனலாக் கன்வெர்டர்ஸ் ஆர் அவைலபிள் ஆர் டூ ஆர் லேடர் டைப் டிஏசி இன்வெர்டட் ஆர் டூ ஆர் டைப் டிஏசி வெயிட்டட் ரெசிஸ்டர் டிஏசி லைக் வைஸ் யூ ஆர் ஃபெமிலியர் வித் செவரல் டைப் ஆஃப் டிஏசிஸ் இன் ஆல் த டிஏசிஸ் யூ மைட் ஹாவ் சீன் த ஸ்விட்சஸ் இந்த ஸ்விட்சஸ் மே எதர் கனெக்ட் டு தி ரெஃபரன்ஸ் வோல்டேஜ் ஆர் இட் மே கனெக்ட் டு தி ground potential and it will pass the corresponding input to the inputs of the operational amplifier okay so that switches we are going to discuss today so what is the nature of the switch available in dacs so those type of switches are digitally controlled spdt switches so what is the type of switch which, which is used in digital to analog converter means it is a digitally controlled spdt switch So what is mean by SPDT switches? Single pole double throw switch. Okay, that is the full form for SPDT. So when we consider these type of switches, so many types are available. But today we will discuss only two different types. One is totem pole MOSFET switch and another one is CMOS inverter as a switch. So this topic we will see one by one. So first we will start with the totem pole mosfet switch so the diagram for the totem pole mosfet switch is shown here okay so you have to practice this diagram here bit line is there sr flip flop is there and again complementary gate is there and after that you are having a resistor which is connected to the operational amplifier input line okay so this portion before this resistor is a switch right so which you you might have represented in the switch symbol in your digital to analog converter circuit okay so here this switch what activity it will do is it will feed each resistor connected to the inverting input of the operational amplifier in your dac circuit okay so this totem pole switch will feed each resistor connected to the inverting input terminal feed means it is giving some input that is the meaning okay so let's come to this circuit here you are having the complementary gate inputs so what are all the complementary gates available here q1 and q2 are the complementary gates what is the input to these gates q and q bar these two are the inputs okay the complementary gate inputs are q and q bar so these two are the inputs and for this the input is coming from mosfet sr flip flop okay this complementary gate is having the input q1 q bar which is coming from a sr flip flop or it is coming from a binary cell of a register which is holding a one bit of the digital information so what information you are going to convert into a analog analog one that one bit is held in a register okay that is the one so this q and q bar having the value which is coming from mosfet sr flip flop okay va and this is your bit line your input bit may be 1 or it may be a zero so one connection is directly given to s and another connection is given to r through a not gate right next we will see the working with the inputs so once again i have drawn the diagram here for your understanding now assume the negative logic so here what is the meaning of assuming negative logic means the logic 1 will correspond to the minus reference voltage that is the logic 1 corresponds to minus 10 volt so this is the reference voltage 
which is available in your DAC circuit and logic 0 will correspond to the 0 volt which is a ground potential ok now you consider your input bit DAC input is available no? for that DAC that single bit at one particular switch is 1 so here you are representing bit line so this bit line is the single bit which is applied to that switch input so if that bit line is 1 then what happens 1 will come here after uh, passing through NOT gate that 1 will become 0 here ok so here you will get 1 here you will get 0 so if input bit line is 1 then S is equal to 1 R is equal to 0 so that you will get your Q is equal to 1 and Q bar is equal to 0 right so Q is equal to 1 means this Q1 will become on condition Q bar is equal to 0 this Q2 will become off condition right so this q1 is on so what happens this minus vr will get connected to this r1 and it will reach the operational amplifier input terminal okay now you consider the another one case your input bit line is zero at this case what will happen this will become zero r will become one so q becomes zero q bar becomes one and this side the connection will go so this ground potential 0 volt is connected to R1 through Q2. Q1 is off condition. So it will not go here. Right. So if your input bit is 1, this R1 connects to reference voltage. If your input bit line is 0, this R1 connects to ground potential. Okay. So this is the function of totem pole MOSFET switch. Next we will discuss about CMOS inverter as switch. This is the circuit diagram for your CMOS inverter which is acting as a switch. So here it is having a CMOS inverter. So this first portion is the CMOS inverter followed by a voltage follower, operational amplifier, voltage follower. Then this output is, sorry, this drives R1 from a very low output resistance value. So this first portion is called CMOS inverter. Next one is voltage follower which is already familiar to you. So this CMOS inverter will have a NMOS and PMOS. Based on the input one will become on and other will become off. So here what is the input you are applying? This is your complement of the input bit. In your digital to analog converter for every switch you will get you will give one single bit of input. So that input here you are not going to apply directly you are going to apply the complement of the input ok so here q bar represents complement of the bit under consideration what bit you are going to apply that bit is taken as complement and then it is fed here ok here what you are doing is here you are going to assume a positive logic in previous totem pole switch you have assumed a negative logic here you are going to assume a positive logic so what is the meaning so if the logic is 1 then it corresponds to the reference voltage of plus 5 voltage so here V represents the output for the logic 1 that output is reference voltage which is taken as plus 5 volt and if your logic is 0 then you will get the 0 volt ok so here Q bar is the complement of the bit under consideration now we will see your input bit is 1 ok your input bit actual digital input applied to the switch is 1 so here what will be the Q bar you have to consider the complement of the actual input so here Q bar will become 0 so Q bar is 0 so when Q bar is 0 what happens this Q1 will become on condition so this is the N mass and this is the P mass so this Q1 will become on condition when you apply 0 N mass becomes on, P mass becomes off. So Q1 is on, Q2 is off. So what happens? This VR is connected to voltage follower, which is going to appear at the input of R1 and it is fed to the operational amplifier input line. Okay. Now you consider another one case. Your input bit is 0. Then what happens to your Q bar? Q bar will be 1. 
so when you apply q bar is equal to 1 n mos will become off so this q1 will become off and q2 will become on so this ground potential will get connected to the r1 through this voltage follower circuit okay for q bar equal to 0 that is your input bit is 1 at that case 5 volt is connected to the resistor r1 through the voltage follower if your input bit is 0 that is for q bar equal to 1 0 volt is connected to R1 through voltage follower. Okay, very simple. You just draw the diagram, you explain it is having a CMOS inverter voltage follower. Then you are assuming assuming a positive logic. For logic 1, it is plus 5 volt. For logic 0, it is 0 volt. Then for each input bit, you define these two concepts and tell which output is available. Okay, if you are having any doubt, post in comment. AKEC channel will help you in clearing the doubts. Please share with friends. Thank you very much.